Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Please continue to order your green gear. 25% off promo code Jericho1. Get it in time for the 4th of July. America's birthday. I have mine. Make sure you get yours. <laughs> this is a happy day, guys. This is a happy day times two. Not only is it Juneteenth, <laughs> you know, June 1865, where the Union soldiers let the last slaves in America know that they were free in Galveston, Texas. Juneteenth. It's also a day to celebrate because it is now a federal holiday. Yes. A few days ago, the Senate voted it through, passed it, House passed it. As soon as Biden is perverted, as soon as they walked his senile ass off of Air Force One, he signed it into law. You see how fast they work when they want to? You see how fast they get shit done when they see that it, when they feel that it benefits them. You see that? That took a few days. They made a law, but when it benefits us, when it protects our rights, they're like, mm, uh, mm. They can't get shit done. Sound like Hanson? Mm, mm, bop. They can't get shit done. But when it's something they want, when they feel that it, it secures their power or more power, boom. They're fan, they're holding that thing like a Polaroid, trying to dry the ink. It's already done. Now, I don't think that Juneteenth should be a holiday. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. No, I don't. To me, it seems stupid. Why are we celebrating the last slaves finding out they're free? Why not celebrate the day that they were made free, not the day that they found out? In September 1862, Lincoln said on January 1st, 1863, all slaves will be free forever, will forever be free. Why not celebrate that day? Well, Jericho, it's New Year's Day. All right, move it to January 2nd. That's when we should be celebrating the end of slavery. It is worthy of celebration. It's a major piece of our history. That's how people that look like me got here. Thank God we got here. Because I don't see anybody clamoring, falling over themselves, breaking their neck to get their ass back to Africa. So I'm glad I'm here. Slavery, the end of slavery, should be celebrated and studied. But not on Juneteenth. That just seems dumb to me. The day that the slaves were emancipated should be the day that we celebrate. Why Juneteenth? I, don't, I just think that's dumb. But here we are, federal holiday. Not sure what that means. I woke up this morning expecting to feel different. Remember when you're a little kid and like you wake up on the morning of your birthday and you're like, I don't feel different. I didn't feel different. I thought that, you know, I'd hop out of bed whistling Dixie, a little pep in my step. It's Juneteenth, it's a holiday. Woo! No, nothing. Got up feeling the same I always do. Probably because it doesn't mean shit. Probably because they're only doing this to, to uh, pander to black folk like they usually do. They don't mean it. They don't give a shit. Like I said the other day when I found out they were making this a federal holiday, why didn't Obama do it? You see how fast they got that shit done? Days. It's a federal holiday. Why couldn't Obama do it? He's a descendant of slaves. Oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe that's why he, do it. he didn't do it. Because he's not the descendant of slaves. He's a descendant of slave catchers. Slave catchers sellers. So maybe he didn't want to highlight that part of his family history. Maybe that's why he didn't do it. But he certainly had the House and the Senate, just like Biden's perverted did. He got it through. They got it done. Hmm, I don't know. 
Maybe that's a question for the history books. Why didn't the colored president make sure that Juneteenth was a holiday? I don't know. But like I said, I don't think it should be. We should celebrate when slavery ended, not when the last people found out that it ended. So stupid. And you want to hear some more stupid? So I did a video <laughs> a month back or so about this event they're holding near here called Black Drives Matter. <laughs> and it's some stupid golf event that they're supposed to hold to show that Black Lives Matter is something dumb. So <clears throat> part of this uh, event, I guess you would call it, and I couldn't find anywhere that said whether people paid to do it or they would volunteer to do it. Either way, it's pretty stupid, but it would be extra stupid if you gave somebody money to do what I'm about to tell you. So for 246 minutes to commemorate the 246 years of slavery, I thought it was 400, whatever, to commemorate the 246 years of slavery, you can... You can be a slave for 246 minutes. Yes, you can work out in the fields and be a slave for 246 minutes. This is just as bad as when that Kristen, whatever her name was, Oprah's spiritual advisor was in like some church or something, some building, and she said, Black people, if you want to participate in this, go ahead and stand up. Anyway, the black folks are standing there and she goes, white people, repeat after me. I am sorry. And all these clowns repeated all the stupid shit that came out of that hole under her nose. Who is lacking so much self-respect? Who is wanting to quench their liberal thirst so bad? that you are willing to be a slave for 46 minutes? What does that mean? What will you be doing? Will somebody be supervising you? Do you have to dress the part? Do you have to speak the part? Will you be hit? What will you be doing? <laughs> so stupid. People are fucking shit sometimes. <laughs> Be a slave for 246 minutes. Stop. This is part of the bullshit. This is part of the deception. Slaves were not all field working yowza bosses. They were not all kuntas. They were not all Tobies. Black slaves did everything name it they did it blacksmiths gunsmiths seamstresses hairdressers they worked on the docks they fished they built things cabinets buildings houses everything that is skilled labor skilled that means you probably had to learn some math you probably had to read and I know that goes against everything they told us. Every slave had scars on their back. They were separated from their families. They were raped and beaten daily. Now that may have happened to some slaves. Apparently it was. We have the, the photo evidence. Yes, it happened. But not on the scale that they told us. Can you believe that? They exaggerated. They bullshitted us. A lot of slaves were more on an indentured servant level. They had homes, they had families, and more importantly, they had respect. And at some point, they repaid their debt and they were free to go. Some slaves were free and still worked on the plantations. Some of the slaves were the overseers. Don't let Django Unchained fool you. Every, uh, every overseer was not some toothless sister fucker. There were slaves out up on those horses, overseeing the land and the daily goings on of the plantation. They weren't all a bunch of barefoot field workers. But in order to continue their narrative, they must tell you that you were downtrodden and beaten and you're suffering under the boot 
of this white man and have been since you got here. Speaking of getting here, how do we get here? Well, if you let them tell us we were all packed on these ships, all these evil white people, these evil British people, these evil Spaniards, they came over there and stole us in the night from our lands. And eh, wrong. Now the boat ride, that part's true. But who put us on that boat is not true. You think these white people and these Spaniards showed up in Africa and knew where everybody was, knew how to round them up, knew where all the good Africans were? Nope. So there's this thing called war. And after you fight a war, you take what you want from your enemy. That included slaves. And once you had your fill of slaves, once you killed the other group, the other tribe, and you got your fill of slaves, you sold the excess slaves to somebody else. So is Africa going to pay these bullshit reparations? The Arabs, the Spaniards, who's going to pay? That's why it's so stupid. But they don't tell you the truth. They just tell you the part that benefits them. White man did this, stay mad, stay unsatisfied, so you keep pulling that lever. That's what they want, it's all bullshit. Juneteenth, why not January 1st when they ended slavery? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but for some reason, the day that the last people found out, that's what we're celebrating. That don't make any sense to me. But nevertheless, guys, it is June 19th. It is a day to celebrate. If you're a federal employee, you're probably sitting at home watching this because you got the day off. Because our government finally figured out how to get shit done quickly. What did that take, three days? And it's a law now? That has to be some kind of a record. What did Ace Ventura yell down to the guy in Ace Ventura 2 when he was having letting his slinky go down the stairs? It's gonna be some kind of a record. There's gotta be some kind of a record. Three days, this is a law. But shit that we need passed, shit that benefits us, they can't do it. it. Takes years, months, fighting back and forth. See, if you guys would take that mindset and come together for us, man, we'd be knocking shit out. We'd be prosperous. We'd be back on top. We'd be running like a well-oiled machine. But we can't do that. Unless they want it. Unless it's something they want to get behind. Juneteenth. What a waste of time. I don't know about you, but I got gas yesterday and it was $4.75 a gallon. Why don't you guys get together and sign some law about that? Why don't you get Biden his pervertus at his desk to start doing some executive orders about that? Why don't we get some of these? Why don't we? Uh, why don't you guys go see Governor Abbott in Texas? He was just sitting down signing laws like crazy yesterday. People in Texas can carry guns now if they want to. Wait, what? We can protect ourselves since when? Since their government governor got his shit together and made it the law? Man, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know what I'm going to do today. But I'm going to celebrate. <laughs> we're going to get some charcoal. We're going to get some drinks. And we're going to party like it's June 19th. <laughs> so, hey, guys. If you're in the area, if you're in the 831 area and you're feeling, you're feeling laden with liberal white guilt and it's just so heavy that you can't even get out of bed in the morning and you want to alleviate some of that pressure, well, you can always come here and be a slave for 246 minutes. Who in the fuck is doing that? Who is lining up, holding their ticket to slave-a-thon. What? And what are you going to do? You just going to work in the field? I don't, man, I don't even know, but <laughs> today's the day. 
So I will be scouring the internet to see if there are some pictures of what the fuck these clowns are doing for 246 minutes, man. If you got a room full of those Hollywood perverts at gunpoint, they couldn't write anything better than this. <laughs> so let me hop in this rat race, you guys, so I can make some money to buy my Juneteenth party supplies. <laughs> but you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.